Electric fields are very similar to gravitational fields, except electric fields is caused by charge, and charge can be positive or negative. So this means, unlike a gravitational field, electric field can also be repulsive, as you can see in this situation here. Electric field strength is defined as a force per unit charge on a test a positive charge placed in the field. So you had to pretend to be a, a positive charge to figure out what direction the electric field is pointing at in. So for example, if you're a positive charge over here, you'd be re repelled by the positive charge and you'd move in that direction. Um, so you'd experience a force in that direction. You won't necessarily move in that direction because you could have an initial momentum going some other way. So to figure out what direction um, what direction the uh, field lines point in, you need to pretend you're a positive charge. So for that's here's that's a radial field, but if we put look at the uniform field over here in between the plates, ignore the edges of the plates because that is not clearly not uniform in the, uh, at the edge. So if you pretend you're a positive charge over here, you'd experience a force going downwards, and if you're a positive charge over here, you'd experience the same force going downwards because it's a uniform field and the field strength is the same at every point in a uniform field. But if you're a negative charge you'd actually experience force in the opposite direction to the field lines because uh, of the definition. Okay. Another thing to keep in mind here is that electric um, field strength, which is given the symbol E, it can be confused with energy, but another way to remember it is just that it's the force per unit charge, so it's units is newtons per coulomb.